Hi, I'm Andrea James. I'm the creator of Cooking for Life, an online cooking course for busy people. So I share techniques on how you can make quick and healthy meals. So while I share my techniques on what you can do, it'll be really cool to hear from real life busy people and find out how they manage to fit cooking into their lives. So today I have with me a really good friend, Jasmine Gartner, and she's gonna tell us a little bit about herself and how does she manage to, to cook and avoid all those processed foods. So hi, I'm Jasmine, and I'm a trainer and writer on employee engagement, unconscious bias, and diversity and inclusion. And so being a trainer, it means that I spend an awful lot of my time out of the house traveling around the country, getting home late. Yeah. And do you cook differently then from weekdays and weekends and when you're traveling and when you're not traveling? And what are some of those differences? Yes. So basically while over the weekend I might cook to enjoy myself as a way to relax, mm -hmm. during the week that's not a possibility. If yeah. I have left the house at five in the morning and don't come home till seven, then I don't want to spend a whole lot of time around the kitchen trying to think about what I should make. Yeah. So I have a couple of things that I do to um, ensure that that's not a problem. Mm -hmm. So one of the first things that I do is that I'll cook twice as much as I need. Right. And even though I don't like to eat the same meal three times in a row, chances are twice in a row mm -hmm. I'm happy to do it, especially if the second day I'm really tired, Yeah. then that's absolutely fine. So that's one of the things that I'll do. And I guess some of the dishes, you don't have to eat it the next day, right? It actually improves with age, like you know, the stews and the casseroles and stuff. You can kind of have a skip a day. You can skip a day and then you can add whatever you have in the fridge. You can add some new potatoes or you can add a different vegetable or mm -hmm. whatever it is, whatever is in there. So you're also getting rid of the old stuff in the fridge. Yeah. And, and what else do you do? That's, that's the other thing that I do is I have a rotation of really simple recipes that I have memorized. I've been making them mm. for a long time. Yeah. I know that they're well liked in my household mm -hmm. and I don't even have to think about them anymore. Yeah, that's a key bit I find. Um, there are so many days when I come home and I just want to mentally switch off. I just don't have the mental capacity to think about what I'm going to do next. It has to almost come automatically, right? Exactly. So something, an example of that is omelets, right? It's, you know, uh, once every other week or so, you know, we're going to have omelets uh -huh. and what will change is the vegetables that's in them. So, right. you know, one week I might chop up um, an onion and some tomatoes, or I might have some dried tomatoes in the fridge, whatever it is. And I'll just stick that in with my favorite cheese mm -hmm. done. Yeah. Um, the next time around, two weeks later, it might be shallots and red peppers. Right. Yeah, and, and I think it's funny how just these small variations are kind of enough to to stimulate our palates and go, yes. yeah, it's a little bit. <laughs> exactly, and it actually allows for a little bit of creativity in a sense, and it, yeah, it's, it's, it works really well. Yeah, um, and do you have another one? Or <laughs> I, I know I'm, I'm really milking her for her tips. The reason I'm doing that is partly because, so Jasmine and I, we, we were, well, I started a cookbook club um, some time ago, I've, I've, it, it no longer is running right now. Uh, but when we used to do that, we'd spend like a whole Sunday cooking um, or Saturday, you know, preparing for it and stuff. And so this is somebody who actually enjoys cooking and would, would spend hours doing it. I would it. spend it. Yeah, but not on a weekday. Not so on a weekday. this is, I, I thought it'd be really useful to see how even for people who enjoy cooking, yeah. There are compromises that are made mm -hmm. um, during the week when when our minds are taken up by by work, by work yeah. yeah, and being tired. So yeah. I have one last tip that I'll okay. share, which is um, I use my freezer. So for example, when a loaf of bread is getting towards the end of its edible life, mm -hmm. I'll chop the rest up into cubes, yep. stick it into a freezer bag, put it in the freezer. Right. Um, over the weekend, when I'm making bigger recipes, mm -hmm. um, for example, if I'm making some chicken and then there's some chicken stock left, left over, yep. I'll freeze the chicken stock. And so with the bread ends, for example, the little chopped up cubes of bread, um, one of the things that I like to do is make savory bread pudding. And all that is, is all the old vegetables in my fridge <laughs> chopped up. And yep. then you cover them with the old bread, yep. cover them with some of the chicken stock, cover it with cheese, of course, <laughs> bake it, and you're done. And it's all just stuff that's left over in the fridge. Right. Yeah. And I, I think that's one of the things that um, comes up again and again for a lot of people is 
the guilt of wasting food after you've bought it for a recipe. So if, you, if you're not sure about how to cook and you want to eat a bit better and you follow a recipe either in a book or online and then you think, oh my goodness, I have all of this stuff and I, I don't have the, the energy to think about exactly. what to do. And so the, uh, that, thank you for that because those are the little things that are really good to know so you can you know kind of just throw things in and not, and, feel, guilty. And not feel guilty and it's used up and, mm -hmm. and it's just, yeah. So thank you so much for that. Yeah, my pleasure. Uh, so we hope that you found that useful. If you have some struggles still with um, cooking during the week or you just want to make some changes, please feel free to share with us. We would love to hear. Um, I would love to hear, certainly. <laughs> and Jasmine would. She did say to me before this, she would love to hear other tips and hacks because we can always add can, more to our repertoire. Yeah. It's, it's, it's really, I'm fascinated by these kinds of things. And I always pick up, you know, I didn't come up with these tips myself. Mm -hmm. I've learned them along the way from other people and so I'm always looking to learn more yeah so if you can share your tips and hacks in the comments below that would be really really great for more please go to cookingforlife.club thank you very much and goodbye thanks again